In this video, I will show you how to use EndNote for managing your references. EndNote is very easy to handle and it has many options which will make your life easy. So first of all, you will have to download and install EndNote as I have already done it and make a library in it. Now we'll go toward the practice and I will search an article and insert its reference. For that, I will click on the Google Scholar and look for any article, for example, organic synthesis. Now, I want to add any reference. For example, the first article, I want to take this part of this article into my document. So now I want to add its reference. For that, I will click on this comma. And here you can see the second option and note. I will click on it. And now this reference will be saved on my laptop. So I will just click on it and it will be automatically added to my EndNote library. Here you can see. Now I will select this reference and minimize the all things and go toward my manuscript. And here, after installing EndNote, uh, the EndNote option will be uh, provided here so I will go into the EndNote option and here on the extreme left side you can see insert citation so here are many options through which you can insert the citation uh, as I have already selected the citation here in this EndNote library so I will just go with the second option that is insert selected citation here you can see the citation is added now I will just write here references to differentiate it from the text now I want to add another text for example I already uh, have saved the article in my EndNote library and I want to select it from my EndNote library now I will just select where I want to add the reference. For example, I want to add my reference on the second line. So I will again go into the insert citation option and click on insert citation. So here a box will open. Here I will add the keywords for the article for example uh, it's here of publication author name or whatever uh, you remember so for example i will add khan so this or i want to add any year that is 2020 so all the articles which were published in 2020 and i have them in my library will appear here so i will select any article and insert it so you can see my first reference was here uh, on on the end but after adding reference it automatically changed to two now again try it and see i want to just uh, add another reference for example here so again i will select insert citation and I will go with any reference. Now it is it has automatically changed to two. Now I have totally added three citations one, two, and three, and they have automatically changed. And uh, in the end of the file, you can see the reference. They have already uh, they have also changed. Uh, now 
as there are many styles of the references and uh, I have I want to change it to according to a journal in which I want to publish or if I'm writing, writing any thesis and I want to select APA style it's up to you whichever style you want to select so here is a option in the endnote which will make your life easy so we will go in that option here you can see the style you can select any style or uh, for example i want to select apa 7th now my reference style has changed from numbering to this apa style now i want to for example check another style uh, and this style is a particular style which is followed by a journal so i will just click on the first option and here are all the uh, list of the journals many journals for example i want to select the this journal so i will click on ok and uh, the style of this journal my references will be set according to this i will again change it to numbering style now if i have changed my mind and i want to remove a uh, reference so i will just select this reference and delete it and you can see my reference has been deleted from here and also from this end list and the uh, rest of the references ha uh, have automatically adjusted to one and two so it's a great way to manage your references and it will make your life easy okay goodbye